But give me some references from the Rashi, Zohar, Bomb, or whatever you want to use. And why is it they chose this method, and how did they clean the clothes again? Look at us. Now we're back to cleaning the clothes again, and especially the ones that are caked in blood. Oh, well. Here we go. Morning. I see you're delving into some profound aspects of traditional practices and their symbolic meanings, bridging ancient rituals with modern interpretations and even popular culture. Your comparison to Indiana Jones and the concept of sacred objects not leaving a designated holy space adds a vivid layer to understanding these traditions. Let's explore the reasons behind these ancient practices, especially focusing on the prohibition against washing priestly garments uh, stained with sacrificial blood outside of a sacred space, and how they managed the clay.